Oh, oh, Scarlet Violet, Scarlet Violet news. Wait, is this it? Are we gonna see the evolutions? Come on, that, that's what I most wanna see. I wanna see the evolutions. Next up, an update on the Pokemon Scarlet and yes. Pokemon Violet yes, games. Here it is, here it is. I'm so excited. Dude, look at this. The texturing on the Pokemon is so cool to see. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold the phone. We got regional whoopers. Look at these. Look at these. Look at them. We have regional whoopers. Bless, bless. I cannot wait to see the evolution. Look at these little dudes. They look more like axolotls with the pink gills. Oh, that's so cute. And, and the black bodies too. I'm gonna be watching everything now for anything new. Attention, please. You have Today, my attention. We begin. Yo, 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 yo! Hold on. There's my boy. Today, Where is he? show me. We begin. My boy, Korai down. Look at him down on all fours. I thought that they were gonna be standing up the whole time. They're actually lizards, dude. I can't handle this game already. Look at, look at this! Look at these giant lizards! I'm so the excited, hunt. dude! Look at! Travel them. across Paldea. Paldea? Is that, is that the region? Travel. Paldea. Paldea's Paldea. the new region. Yo, you Get actually, the yo, region. you ride them! Of course you do, they're bikes, we knew this. But like, look at this. Look at this. It can fly. It can fly. It's a hover bite. The oh my nature. gosh. Guys, I can't handle this game. It goes in the water? The rich culture. So, I need this game literally just for Coridon. That's all I need in my life. That's all I need. The Pokemon. Okay, I'm gonna try to just keep watching and not pause it. And then I can go back later and, and look at stuff. But like, there's there's so Damn much the here. People. Oh? Maybe, maybe some of the gym leaders? Maybe Where just some of the trainer go? classes? Dude, how, how early do you get them? You're riding them like all over the region. How early do you get the legendaries? What will you achieve? That's really interesting. Oh, oh, oh! What are you? Okay, hold on, go back for a sec. What are you? It's almost like a, a whale, but it has limbs. Oh, interesting. With you will be your Pokemon. Yes. Show me the evolutions. Journey Are we gonna get the evolutions? Learn we, we all got lizard bikes, I guess. Everyone's got a lizard bike. Grow together. Look at the team, dude. Oh my boy, Noivern's in this. Yes. Find something to treasure. Oh. New mechanic? New mechanic? Do they have different forms you can turn them into? Oh, that's that's kind of that's really interesting. Okay, we got raid battles back, it looks like. Yes! Oh, they're huge, dude. They're huge. Let the treasure hunt begin. Oh, snap. Show me more. Yes, tell me to more. We're now get a clearer picture of your adventures to come in the Paldea yes. region. Yes, we are. I'd like to dive a little deeper into the information presented. Please do. So let's take a closer look together. Show me, show me the new Pokemon. I want to see them closer up. Like the art, not just like... The newest titles in the like Pokemon series look. are the Pokemon Scarlet, and Pokemon Violet games. These titles will be open world RPGs, a first for the Pokemon series. Yes. Sprawling landscapes and vibrant towns weave together to form the right, Paldea region, where your new adventure will unfold. Okay. Yes. There they are. These the are creatures. the legendary Pokemon, yes. Coridon and Miraidon. You'll rely on one of them as a partner in your adventure. Climb on. And together you'll dash across this is grassy all I fields. Want. Uh, I love that water. And glide through the sky. 
I love that it runs on all fours. Your partner can change forms as needed while you explore it doesn't every nook and cranny of the region with them. Care. Oh? Are we gonna have a looser story? You will be enrolling at a certain academy as a student. Okay. Naranja? Naranja Academy? And a special independent study project awaits you. The treasure hunt. Through it, you'll embark on a journey to find treasure of your own here in Paldea. So maybe those are like the Three main Three grand stories are waiting for you. Oh. One story will revolve around the familiar gym battles. Okay. You'll go to eight Pokemon gyms and aim for the oh. champion rank. This is such a smart In way these to games, do this. There is no set path you must take when challenging the gyms. Yes. Chart your very own course along for Victory so long. Road. I have no idea. Do gyms in any order? That's so sick. Set the Titan? other two stories you'll experience hold many surprises and discoveries as well. Which story will you begin with? How will you progress through huh. them? So it wonder... is all up to you. Huh. I wonder if one of the stories is, is the legendary storyline and that's how you get them, potentially. Professor Sada and Professor Churro, research legends passed on in the Paldea region. Mm -hmm. Mr. Clavel is the director of the academy you'll attend. And Mr. Jacques is your homeroom oh, teacher that, who teaches area. biology. Damn. I respect it. You'll have your battle-loving friend, Okay, I do Simona. like the rival's design. It's kind of and plain, but I like Arvin, the little green an upperclassman and a great in cook. There's also oh, Penny, the a shy backpack. student in your grade. Oh, they're so sweet. There are gym leaders too. I love them. Like Grusha, the Grusha, ice type okay, gym is, leader. Gym. The people you meet in Paldea are intense. sure to enrich your adventures. Yes, show me the Pokemon. Show me the new Pokemon. Many please. different species of Pokemon, also Uber. called the Paldea region home. This Pokemon <laughs> is the Paldean so regional form of Wooper. <laughs> It lives on the land and covers its body it with dark? a poisonous film. It's poison! Oh. Fido are oh. delightfully squishy Pokémon that are smooth to the touch. They're Dodo. And here's Satitan, which Satitan. has a large body and a hard horn that can freeze I its like surroundings. This, one. this one's cool. Of course, Satitan we also cool. have the Pokémon from which you'll choose your first partner. Sprigatito, Fuecoco, my boy, my boy, my boy. and Quaxly. You're okay, I guess. Enjoy I meeting just, lots of Pokémon. And complete your Pokedex as part of your adventure. Dude, this this game's gonna be hype as hell, I swear. Oh, what was Oh, that's the Pokedex. Yeah, multiplayer. Dude, this this feature's gonna be sick. By using the union circle, if it's actually you can enjoy co-op play saying, like, you can with play up to the three game friends. Co -op, it sounds like. You can go look for Pokemon you haven't yet discovered. It's gonna be, this is or gonna even be so ride cool. together to race across the map. Look at all of them on their bikes. Enjoy so all cool. the Paldea region has to offer with family and friends. Ter terrestrial, terras, terrestrial. Okay. Terrestrial. The terrestrial phenomenon makes Pokemon shine like gems. Uh huh. This is gonna be a bitch to draw if you make a Nuzlocke comic out of this. I'm not, I'm not even gonna do it for that reason. It's got a whole ass candle. All Pokemon in the Paldea region are able to terrestrialize, which can provide a boost to a Pokemon's type and make its moves stronger. Okay. Does it have to be correlated to the Some type Pokemon though? will change type oh. when they terrestrialize. See? That's so interesting. A oh, flying type Pikachu? That's what so type they become seems to depend on that Pokemon's Terra type. A fire type drip limb? This is really interesting. For example, an Eevee would typically remain normal type after terastalizing, but there could oh. be Eevee that become grass or water type oh. after terastalizing. Dependent on We the hope Pokemon. you'll try to catch Pokemon I with rare Terra on types. IVs, like hidden power is. I wonder how that works. Terra raid battles? Okay, Pokemon so this that be have like, rare Terra types are more yeah, likely like the, um, to appear in Terra raid battles. In the wild area. The something dens that, that you could do raid battles. You can in. challenge Terra Pokemon in these battles with up to three other trainers. Oh, okay. This is a new kind of raid battle where you can attack or heal with your own timing without having to wait for your allies. Oh, cool. Wait, real time action battles? Try to cooperate with your allies is to get the upper hand. Is that just for the raid battles, battles or for the whole game? Because that would be a game changer for Pokemon. I feel like they wouldn't do After that. After you successfully defeat battles. a Terra Pokemon, you'll get the opportunity to catch it for yourself. 
And I wonder too, if it replaces the primary type or if they become just pure water or whatever the Terra type is. This is really interesting. Cause yeah, there's a lot of like- We've kept really all the things, things you, you love about Pokemon is. while evolving the adventure you can have. Cause like for some Pokemon, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon their Violet. Their typing and the weaknesses they have is just part of what makes them not as viable. So yeah, that- We a lot hope of you look forward to the day you set out on your adventure. I'm so excited for these games. The Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games are available to pre-order at participating retailers now. Oh, snap, you can already pre-order. Get a special Pikachu that loves fly. Your independent study in the Paladin like the region begins in three one. months. I appreciate that. We eagerly await your enrollment. That's all for today's presentation. Okay, cool. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching. Oh, I feel like I feel like most of my reaction was just like screeching at things, but you know that's valid. That that was that was my genuine reaction to it. Um, I want to look at some of these things. So I'm pretty sure um, the official site puts out um, information on this stuff like right after they announce it. Here, let's see if it's on here. Like the new Pokemon, it should have like their their types and. Um, Oh, what else? Abilities, like that kind of stuff. Maybe maybe not abilities yet, but well, let's just see. Um, there's the trailer. Discover the latest Pokemon. Is, are they in here? No. Okay, these are the starters. Oh, here, see them all. Okay. Here's the roster. The starters. Here, here, here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's a Titan. I, this design is really, really interesting. I like it. I really like the the proportions. It's a very whale-like body, but it still like works that it has legs. The Terra Whale. It's pure ice type. This this is gonna have a pre-evo. It's obviously thick fat. This is a bulky boy, slush rush. I wonder if it has enough base speed to utilize slush rush in the first place. But I love the color scheme. I really, really appreciate when they branch out a little bit with you you still want it to read as the type that it is. You don't want you know, you want to be able to tell at a glance what it is. So the white gets the ice across, but I like these pinkish accents on it. Um, you don't really see that in other ice types that I can think of. Or maybe there's there's one I'm forgetting, but it, it's unique. I like it. Um, they need to have tough muscles to be able to support their immense bodies. Physical attacks using their bodies have incredible power. Probably going to be a physical attacker. They also migrate around the snowy regions, protected by a thick layer of sub subcutaneous fat. Five hard horns. The horn on the upper jaw is able to gather ice energy, making the surrounding temperature extremely low and freezing. These are cool little dudes. I like these. Well, they're not little, but... Okay, yeah, so that's that's the info we have so far. I've, I'm actually really digging Satitan's design a lot. Um, Fido, the name, the name, dude, they are on point with the names in this region already. I just have to say, Lechong, Fido, Smoliv, props, dude. Look at this little friend. It's a fairy type, continuing the trend of fairies being made of food for whatever reason. It has own tempo. This is likely gonna evolve into something else. Um, would be my guess. Look at them, they're so cute. They're just little doe dogs. Their moist, smooth skin has elastic qualities. It's both firm and soft at the same time. When they become excited, they intimidate their opponents by puffing up their bodies to appear bigger. They just go and poof up. Its breath contains yeast. Okay. It ferments things in its vicinity using the yeast in its breath. Said yeast is useful for cooking, so it's been protected by people since long ago. Okay, just imagine it gets an attack, like yeast breath or something. That would be hilarious. And really dumb, but it would be hilarious. Okay, Fido's cute. Uh, we've already seen the chunk. Check out my boy Whooper. Look at this guy. Look at him. I love this little friend. Poison. Fit. Oh, it's poison and ground. So it keeps the ground typing. Um, it has poison point. Nice. Water absorb. Ooh. That's really cool. I like um, abilities where you are immune to a type that is not your own type is really interesting. So it's like it, it, lo it lost the water typing that regular Whooper has, but it gets water absorbed still. I think that's really cool. Um, okay, look at this friend, dude. Where are my Whooper fans at? All my homies love Whooper. In ancient times, Wooper lived underwater in the Paldea region, but it seems after losing in a struggle for territory, they began living in bogs. To keep from drying out, they began to cover their bodies with a poisonous film. Their gills have hardened thanks to living on land for so long. Yeah, they look like bones almost, is what they make me think of. 
Their bodies are heavy and they move slowly, but they can protect themselves by shooting powerful poisonous liquid from their gills. You may see poison Pokemon in areas where these Pooper live. I like this. I really, really want to see the either the Quagsire form or maybe it's a, a new evolution that this turns into, which would also be really cool. I feel like that might be a little bit more interesting direction because I'm not sure what you would do with a regional Quagsire from this. It, it would almost look the same, but brown instead. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm curious what they do with the evolution. Um, is that it? I think that was all the new ones that we saw, right? Yeah. So this looks like the um, the ice gym leader is going to have this. But I'm, I'm guessing, like, since you can do them any order, my guess, or my hope at least, if I were designing it, would be their teams depend on how many badges you have. Because obviously, you know, if this is a fully evolved Pokemon that's pretty strong, she's not going to have this if it's the first gym you fight, unless it's just a really, really low level version of it. That's my guess anyway. Um, Fido, we saw in some of the cafes or the shops that you go into. I don't think we saw a trainer use it at all. I don't know if anyone will have one of these on their team, but um, I, I really like the new Pokemon, honestly. This this makes me excited to see what else we get in this region, because this is uh, kind of a new, like, I feel like it's a creative direction that they haven't gone before. I'm curious to see, like, what else they come up with. I'm also so, so curious what these guys are going to evolve into. I, I'm totally fine that we didn't see the evolutions today, but I just... I'm really scared that I'm not going to like Fuecoco's evolution because this is the one that I really, really want so badly. And I'm not really that interested in the others. So I just hope that I still like it. Or maybe Spricatito will turn into something freaking amazing and I'll pick that instead. But I, I guess we'll find out with later announcements. Um, I love seeing these guys in action. So, so cool. I really appreciate that they also are quadrupeds when they need to be. Um, I, I had no problem actually with, with Coridon standing on two legs. That's fine. But it's really, really nice to get some legendaries who aren't um, or who can move in other ways, too. Um, I appreciate everything. So, yeah, I'm very, very hyped for these games. I don't know when uh, the next reveal will be, uh, but I'm excited. So thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you next time.